We start off in Nigeria with the Daily Sun newspaper. And on the front page of the Daily Sun newspaper, we can see another conversation. Nationwide ban on Okada looms. Now, you recall that uh, the Okada was banned officially in the month of June, 1st of June, in some parts of Lagos, but we're seeing that there might be a nationwide ban. Federal government also mulls ban on mining as police allege to pl plot to attack Kano. IPOP draws battle lines with Ebubagu. Nigeria needs God's intervention to overcome difficulties, says Ugwani. Jam pegs varsity cutoff marks at 140, 100 for polytechnics. It used to be 200, now we are coming back to 140. If the everything is feeling some form of devaluation, not just <laughs> Peter Obi, Buga, Bianca, Putin most trended in first half of 2022, according to Google. Ooh, so that Bianca slap really went far. Reps order BPE to halt sale of five NDPHC power plants. 2023 be neutral. Emulate Jonathan, elder statesman tell Buari. No identified treasury looter will be Rivers governor, says Wiki vows to prosecute Amechi Cole. Mm. Can restate's commitment to ensuing voting directive to members soon on page 27. Census, no religion, ethnicity question, says NPC. We can see a, a photograph here of Chairman Independent INEC Electoral Commission INEC, Professor ya Mahmoud ya um, Yakubu on the right, and the new Resident Electoral Commissioner, um, REC for Kogi State, Dr. Hali Gabriel Longpet. And this photo was taken in Abuja yesterday. Uh, two more stories here. Nigeria to spend big on subsidy next year. Federal Government Airmax, 6.72 trillion, records 3 trillion deficit in four months. Group gets caught back into foul pedigree case against Tinubu. That's all we can take on the front page of the Daily Sun. Now well, let's go to the point. Still here in Nigeria, uh, the point newspapers. and see what we can find over there. It says, Oshun governorship poll, police officers protest non-payment of allowances. Urge Buhari to probe police hierarchy. I didn't participate in exercise, says the Commission of Police. Also, Jam remits $29 billion to consolidated revenue fund, says Adamu. Also on the point this morning, Adilike warns Oyetola appointees against corrupt practices, threatens probe. Suit seeking Tinubu's perjury trial has merit, says the court. And also five arrested as Lagos police smash fake CAC registration center. And uh, I think those are the stories, uh, you know, that the point has for us this morning. And let's head over to South Africa with the Sowetan. Uh, on the front page of the Sowetan we have here, no needle needed for jabs. Scammers will help with help scammers with help of corrupt health workers. Issue fake but foolproof COVID-19 vaccination certificates. As little as 400 rand to secure parts into the office as employers insist staff must be inoculated to resume work on page 5. Mm. We also have here Payanza brags of hacker proof system online application go live. Who all steps are pulls the strings on page 17. Dudula has got it all wrong. SA state was never meant for Africans. That's on page 21. Um, fired up by Anna step into Moroccan cauldron. Uh, Hosu local awaits essay on pages 10, 11, 39, and 40. And final really sad story here says, trainee raped in police college. That's really sad. That's sad. That's really sad. <laughs>